I know you said you went through that rough patch, but was yeah. there one time that you said it clicked in your mind that I'm going to change, I'm going to be a different person? You know, I don't know that it was one particular time, but I think it was just a sum of all the circumstances that were pending at that moment uh, for me that I had to make it work. Like to me, I, I love watching stories, watching movies, you know, hearing stories about people that were put in a situation where it had to work. How often are you pushing yourself to your, in parentheses, I put self-imposed and we'll talk about that, but your limits? It's easy to discuss this in terms of physical um, you know, fitness because that's the easiest thing we all know. You push yourself real hard, hit that limit, exhaust yourself physically, but it's in every area of your life. And specifically, I want to talk about in business. How often are you pushing yourself to the limit? And the reason I say self-imposed, because every limit you have is self-imposed. For me, it had to work. Like, I couldn't fail. Like, I had, I was newly married. You know, we were looking at, you know, potentially trying to have a kid. Um, I was broke and I was in debt and it had to work. And so, you know, for me, it was a culmination of all those things that led up to those moments. Um, Not necessarily one particular one, but it was just that environment of me being in a situation where I had to go and execute and there was no contingency plan. Like there was no, okay, if this doesn't work, well, I can always go do that. It was like, no, this has to work. So So those that haven't hit that kind of rock bottom place and haven't gone through these traumatic events that are in a, let's just say a corporate job, they're comfortable where they're at, but they want more. How do you make that huge change there and that transition into that lifestyle and and make that jump? And for me, I think the way that I look at it is if you've got a tightrope walker and they got a huge net underneath them, like I'm not gonna be thrilled about going to watch some guy that has that safety net underneath him because there's really no danger involved. But if you throw a type of walker with no net up there, you know, I'll pay a bunch of money to watch that. And I think each person has to realize within themselves what degree in which they can go all the way, no net, or they need that little bit of safety to kind of start and then build upon that. For some people, they just need to cut bait 100% and then say today's the last day of this, the first day of that, and then go all in. And I think that for those that aren't in that situation, I, I truly believe you can manufacture that situation. Like you can trick yourself into believing that you're in this has to work back up against the wall type mentality. Uh, and it's super important because when you have a backup plan, when you've got that safety net underneath you, it's just harder to go all in. It's harder to put that full effort knowing that, well, if it doesn't work out, I can always go back and do that. Well, if it doesn't work out, I can always call my dad and he can bail me out. Well, if it doesn't work out, you know, my wife's you know income will support us for a few months. And to me, you just got to trick your brain into this mentality of like, no, this has to work. I cannot yeah. fail. I cannot afford um, you know, for, to have this uh, turn into a failure. And so it was a culmination of all those things kind of coming to a head and me realizing that.